Okay, this is gonna be awkward. Uh, first of all, this is my first time filming with this camera. Second of all, my cat is cleaning herself. Oh no, I just showed you my room. Okay, this is awkward shit. Oh, now my tripod is collapsing. Just a second. Okay, hello. Um, this is my sticker box. Uh, I promised you guys, no I didn't. I didn't promise you guys anything. I haven't been uploading, let's just get that out of the way, um, but a lot of you guys in my last video or like two videos ago, you really wanted to see my stickers, um, and I recently put them all in this box. I really hope this is in focus because, long story short, um, last Christmas my parents, I begged my parents for a nice camera. <laughs> I sound like I'm 12. I'm 21. Um, hi, my name is Troy, welcome to my channel. I begged my parents for a nice camera and they got me one. Um, and I was the one who like did the research on the camera. I got a camera that doesn't autofocus in video mode, which is like the worst thing ever and it's super annoying. So I'm gonna be very awkwardly here trying to record and show you guys my stickers and constantly be like worrying over whether it's in focus or not. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? Um, so this is my sticker box. You can see that it is adorable. It's completely covered and decorated. Each side is a different color, mostly. Um, it doesn't really stick that well because, yeah, the only part I didn't decorate is the bottom. Here's the yellow side. Yeah, I've just been getting a lot of questions on where I get my stickers from which surprises me because I really, I just get them everywhere. So I'm gonna be going through my box and showing you my stickers and telling you where I got them um, since so many people are curious. I get them from everywhere, I don't know what to say, but these are from the 99 cent store, all these Halloween ones, I got them before Halloween. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna be talking about some other stuff while I go through this because um, I just wanted to mention that the last time I, I reached a thousand and a hundred or something subscribers. Uh, these are not stickers, by the way. They're just googly eyes that I put in here. Last time I uploaded a video on this channel, I think I was at 360 something subscribers and now I'm at a thousand something. So I just want to say that, well, first of all, thank you. But if you subscribed your since that time, I am so sorry. I hope that you were not expecting daily uploads or weekly uploads or even monthly uploads and that you're okay with me like just uploading videos whenever I feel like it. This is from a Lisa Frank booklet that you're gonna see the rest of, but there's a bunch of random pages that are torn out that I'm just trying to finish. Cause like what I try to do since I have so many stickers is I try to finish sheets of them and just like get rid of the, <laughs> the excess. Cause like, if you have a page like um, like this where there's just a few left, like I'm gonna use this sheet over a new sheet, you know, so that I can just like get rid of the extra sheet and then have the tiniest bit more space, you know, and then I'll be able to get more stickers because I'll actually like be able to tell myself, yeah, use them so you're allowed to get more stickers because otherwise, like if I don't use my stickers, like I can't let myself get more stickers. I'm not allowed, naughty naughty. I hope that you guys weren't expecting constant uploads is what I'm trying to say and that you're fine with me just doing it whenever I want because not only is this camera kind of irritating to use um, because it doesn't autofocus but also but also I have a really hard time editing um, maybe it'll be better because I actually got a computer I have a Cintiq now there it is it's got stuff on it and just blurry because I don't feel like focusing again I have a Cintiq now and it's got more space and it doesn't like lag like crazy because my laptop which I was editing on before, I couldn't use After Effects at all which is what I want to use to edit my videos. So editing was super annoying and then also this camera runs out of battery pretty quickly if you're recording and it also can't, can't hold videos that are that long, like the max is kind of like 20 minutes which is just super freaking irritating. Um, because <laughs> there was one video, remember, um, in one of my videos I mentioned that I LARP and I was like, oh, would anyone be interested in, uh, you know, me talking about that? And I didn't really care what your answer was. I think one person was like, yeah, I want to hear about that, which is very nice, thank you. Um, but I just wanted to make videos. I figured, like, ah, if you're watching this, uh, account, it's probably not for <laughs> LARP, like, you're probably here for art and stuff. I was just gonna make those videos and, like, let people who are actually interested in this content also be attracted to the, the website or whatever, or I don't know, 
maybe you'd watch it and then find out that you were interested in LARP, whatever. So I made a really long video. It ended up being like an hour long, but I think that was it unedited. It might have been longer, shorter, I don't know. I tried to edit it and I couldn't because After Effects was like so laggy. So after I went to all the work of like making that video and then not being able to do anything with it because I couldn't edit it, I have such a hard time talking, I'm so sorry. So I just got burned out after that like video didn't work out and uh, they haven't really uploaded since. Um, yeah, and you know, my style has kind of changed. I'm not exactly like super kid core anymore. I don't really know what, I, I kind of call my style like baby grunge. It's focused. I am so sorry if like all these stickers are out of focus by the way. I mean, I guess I'll figure it out in editing and just like have to record the whole thing over. So I'm really hoping that I just get this right the first time. Um, yeah, so I call my style kind of like baby grunge because I came out of kid core and like a little bit of baby core um, into like a more skater boy grunge style, I guess I would say. Um, and this is kind of for my personal fashion. Not really so much for my artwork. I don't know what my style is. I don't I don't care. I just want to draw what I want to draw. Okay, my battery's running out already, so I'll see you guys in a bit. The lighting will be different. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm back. Um, is this lighting good? Yeah, I don't feel like waiting any longer, so hopefully this is enough battery to last me for the rest of this video. As you can see, there is still a lot of stickers to go through. I am not looking forward to having to title all of these, but since I'm talking, instead of telling you where I got these, Kinokunya, by the way, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to like be writing a lot of titles and stuff, which is like super annoying to do on After Effects because you've gotta like edit, though this is just a paper, um, you've gotta like edit the length of all of them. I'm not gonna bother taking these out of the box. I got them from the thrift store and they're like puffy um, space stickers and I really like, there's just a ton of them and they're not in anything so I can't really take them out but I like the sparkly ones so much. Those are gonna stay in and there's also some like random stuff in here. I never use her but she's so cute. Um, I completely forgot what I was talking about before I took that little break. So that sucks, but we're just gonna talk about something else now. I've been playing The Sims um, a little bit. I was, I was gonna say like nonstop, but it really hasn't been nonstop because I've got school as well. I am, I'm still, I'm in quarantine with the rest of you guys, but um, I'm still going to school at SVA. We're doing it all online and it's been good. It's been, Honestly, like, I'm gonna sound super privileged or spoiled or something, but I prefer online schooling. Um, and I think that's because I've just been, like, really burned by SVA um, in terms of the people. And I've kind of got trauma regarding the people there, and it makes me have a really hard time being on campus because I'm like so scared I'm gonna run into, these are students by the way, like not teachers, but I'm like so scared that I'm going to run into the people who hurt me freshman year. And it wasn't all them, it was me too, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna go into it. But I'm just like so scared of running into them sometimes that it makes it really hard for me to be on campus. And also, I just prefer working. Like, if I'm working, I can't be talking to people. Like, even if you're my friend, I don't want to be interrupted. And, but, like, I do have people at SVA who I really like. Just a few, like two people. <laughs> um, I do have people at SVA who I really like, but, like, if we're in a classroom together, and they're interrupting me to like show me something or ask me a question or something like that's totally fine and they're they should do that and feel free to do that but i have a i just get like kind of in a bad mood and i wish i wasn't like this but i kind of get in a bad mood and i just want to like work and not be bothered so i actually really prefer doing online classes and there's like still people who i kind of talk to mostly just like for homework um but I wouldn't really say I'm friends with them, which is fine because I've got I've got friends from other stuff like LARP and just like online forums. I've got friends, guys. Isn't that great? It's kind of not new to me, but it's new to me as of college. Here's my Lisa Frank book. 
I got this from Walgreens. Um, I really wish it was sparkly, but it's a great like nostalgia trip. I can't really show you all the pages in here. There's a bunch of them are ripped out, but it was a, it was a thick book once. My arms are sore from lifting things up. Yeah, so that's kind of why I prefer online classes, at least right now. Um, and I wouldn't say they're like harder or easier than in-person classes. I think they're a bit easier because uh, I don't have to spend two hours commuting to and from campus, which was a big thing. But it also sucks that I'm not able, and I know a lot of people also feel this way, it sucks that I'm not able to like exercise um, because I used to walk for like upwards of 40 minutes a day like power walking in the city and I don't really walk anymore oops I dropped that and I don't like picking it up yeah so for exercise sometimes I skateboard but it's really like not every day I just can't get myself out every day try as I might which I, I don't try very hard <laughs> yeah I really just like enjoy being in my own space and working in private and working at my own time well, I say working at my own time, but that makes me sound so slow. I'm not a slow worker. I'm a really fast worker. If I'm alone, I can get it done even faster. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's just my preference. And I feel really bad for people who don't enjoy online schooling. So I kind of feel like a snob when I say that I like it. But yeah, that's just my personal like experience with it is that it's great and better. <laughs> and honestly, like I'm so much of a, I guess I'm an introvert because I'm really like having an okay time with quarantine. Like sometimes I can be pretty stir crazy, but I live with my parents, so I'm not entirely alone. Um, and I talk to my friends a lot online and even like meeting up occasionally. Like there was a few times that I met up with people in September. Like I met up with my friends to uh, hit each other with our boffer weapons in Central Park. I think we did that like two times and one of them was for my birthday and that was so fun um but then one of the best things i did was actually seeing my friend jen um who i also know from larp and we went camping at the site the campsite that we usually do game at and the campsite is open um for like weddings and stuff but you can like rent the cabins there to sleep at so we did that um and we were really safe about it um we've both been like you know careful for like pretty much <laughs> months we've been careful for like the entirety of quarantine but we were really careful leading up to it it was like mid early october and the leaves were kind of changing mostly like yellowy and we had two other friends drop by for like a day uh jen and i we stayed for like the whole weekend we stayed two nights and it was just so freaking magical being back at that campground that we've done like zombie games at and being there and like not having to fear for our characters lives and to be able to like explore all these places around site and just like hike and hang out in nature and I, we saw so many little critters like caterpillars and raccoons there was this really fat raccoon that was just like way too friendly and Jen kept scaring it off and I was like no like I really want to be your friend but she was saying like oh if you if it's friendly with people then people like might hurt it if the wrong person finds it and I was like okay <laughs> that'll make me want it to go away honestly like it's mid-november now and that one time I hung out with Jen in October has been like enough to satisfy me because I just like reflect on how perfect that time was and I'm just like happy <laughs> from it still. So yeah, otherwise I barely get out. I went shopping at Marshall's the other day and that was like the first time I've been out in a month and I just bought like underwear and stuff and candles, really nice candles. They are smelly. They're not very cute to look at so I'm not gonna show them but one of them smells like a garden or like roses and it actually like smells pretty um, real and then the other one smells like sweet coffee so when I burn it kind of smells like Starbucks and uh, yeah they're great I just burn them for maybe like an hour every day so that they last longer so the sticker collection is probably like five or six years old I would say I started it maybe like freshman year of high school so that would be like seven years um, and you know I'm not like considering myself to be a sticker collector or anything. I just love the idea of having so many stickers that I'm not 
like scared to use them because I feel like if you just get one sticker sheet you're never gonna use it because you're just gonna be like oh my god like what if I regret putting it somewhere like I know a lot of my friends have that problem so yeah when I have a bunch like this like I'm not scared to put them like all over the box and like all over my shoes and all over a, a sketchbook cover and stuff like that like, I don't really know what to say so some of these clips might just be <laughs> quiet as I show you guys like the last of these stickers. There's still so many. <laughs> I hope this video isn't too long because I don't want to edit it forever. Maybe some of these I won't show because they're not really like <laughs> impressive. They're too small to share. And also a lot of them are repetitive. Like this one is from SVA again. So I've been trying not to buy stickers that aren't sparkly recently. That's kind of like my new rule because I have so many stickers that are just like, like this one are super matte. Like these are very cheap stickers. This pad was a dollar. Um, but they're just so matte and boring and I want like holographic sparkly stickers because if you cover something entirely with like matte or just shiny stickers it kind of looks a little flat so i've been trying to look for uh sparkly stickers which like people don't make and i don't mind spending a little more on some sparkly stickers but like people just don't make them so i don't even have the choice oh okay i see i see more these are little boxes that are full these are little boxes that are full of stickers they've got like i think this is as zoomed in as i can get but they've got like little um, cutout stickers inside of them. Dice cut stickers, I think they're called like that. Yeah, very cheap from AliExpress. And these are the ones, these are the ones that I have like that. Otherwise, I think that's it. <laughs> Um, these are just some more homemade stickers that I made, and these are the rest of the spaceship ones from the first store I told you about. Uh, yeah, and there's just like random stuff at the bottom of this. Um, and then I also have this little box full of homemade stickers that I drew on sticker paper. So what I did is I drew these with like markers and stuff, and you have to make sure that the markers don't um, smear in water. So it's best to go with like alcohol-based markers and then the liner also can't smear in water because after that I um, I coat them in sheer Mod Podge, like glossy Mod Podge and that's how they get kind of shiny and also it protects the surface because if you don't cover them in Mod Podge, like if they're just like this, water will degrade them and they'll become like gross and dirty and like wrinkly and the picture will wear, will, and the picture will wear off and it's like super gross. So yeah, you want to protect your stickers. If it's not already a shiny sticker paper and it's a matte sticker paper, you want to cover them. And ah! Oh my god, let me start that over. I get this kind of paper at Staples and it's like a sticker paper but it's literally paper on the top. So you can draw on it and I printed these, you can put it in the printer, um, and they're not shiny. And I don't know if this is like something that everyone uses, I've never been able to find shiny sticker paper at Staples, like I don't know what you guys are talking about, doesn't exist for me, not in my universe. So to make it shiny I cover it in Watch Podge and that protects it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah, I think that's the end of my tour. Put it back in there with absolutely no organization. And yeah, I hope that was a feast for your eyes. I hope you're satisfied that you can sleep at night. I hope you're not like jealous or something. You can do this too, this is achievable. You know, stickers are pretty cheap. So over time, obviously like this whole box is probably a lot of money and I'm not gonna think about how much it was, but over time you can achieve your dreams and just slowly collect stickers. Like this was the most expensive sticker thing that I got and it was $10 for all these um, Sanrio. I think these are Sanrio characters, right? Yeah, so that was the most expensive thing that I've gotten out of all of this stuff. Um, typically, like, Walgreens stuff will be the most expensive. I'm not sure how much this was, but my Lisa Frank was like $7 or something. So yeah, please achieve your dreams. Uh, send me a message on like, I don't know, Instagram or something, like tag me with your sticker collection if you want to show it off, that'd be cool. Oh, and if you want to watch a video of me actually decorating this box, I put a really speedy time lapse on my TikTok 
which is also Troy's world. Um, and it's, you know, probably like a minute long because it's TikTok. But yeah, if you want to watch just a bunch of stickers getting smashed on a box, then go and check that out. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other video ideas, shoot them in the comments. Um, just if I don't do them, it's not because I don't like them. It's because I don't do videos. <laughs> All right, bye.